In this video, we're going to be taking a look at our final impressions for New World. This is the last review I'm going to do of the game. I played about 18 hours straight today, so I have a pretty good idea how this compares to the open beta to the closed beta. And I want to give you guys a picture of what you can expect if you didn't manage to get into the game. So first of all, talking about the server issues, this isn't probably something that, you know, too many people should be surprised by. There's tons of server issues, maybe the scale of it. Uh, there are tons and tons of queues in order to get into just about every server in the game. Um, the game itself had almost a million people on Twitch. I thought heard it was over 600,000 on Steam. So there is a lot more people playing this game than I think a lot of people thought. Some people have been saying, oh, this game's terrible, it's going to be dead. Clearly that is not the case. There is a very high demand for this game, and clearly that was not anticipated well by Amazon. However, one thing I do want to mention is that I was kicked from the game for about 15 minutes while they did a server maintenance on the Hades server, and after that, I was not kicked for 16 hours straight. The entire time I played, I did not get kicked from the game. So they clearly stabilized their servers uh, for the most part, and that's, that's huge kudos there. Moving along to the actual game itself, I think it's pretty clear to see after 18 hours or so uh, that the game you know, is pretty much more or less what we had in open beta, but a little bit better. The audio bugs are gone that plagued open beta. The performance seems to be a little better on my end. I did tweak my shadows from very high to high that helped performance wise. So I don't know if that's the only thing that fixed it, but it seems to be a bit better on my end from closed beta. But there are still tons of minor bugs here and there that were present in closed beta months ago. I mean, like you can't even write your message of the day without hitting a button and it takes you to a different tab. I mean, this was a this was a bug that was months ago. These are not major bugs, like they're not game-breaking bugs, they're not huge bugs, but they are there and they're present in spades. Another example is chat not showing the correct chat, and you have to like switch tabs and then back to a different tab of chat in order to get it to update. That was a bug the entire closed beta, that's still there. I don't know how long it's going to take them to fix that, but that's another issue. And it makes you wonder how long it's going to take them to fix these issues. I was, you know, pretty sure they wouldn't be able to get all these things fixed. And obviously they went through like order priorities of things to get fixed, like getting the wars fixed so they could function, getting the dungeons to stop bugging so people could complete them. Uh, those were obviously much higher on the list and it's good that they focused on those. But again, I just wanted to mention that there are a slew of just minor bugs like that all throughout the game. People have been asking me, is it different? Are there new weapons? Is the map the same size? Just to clarify, there are no new weapons at launch. The map is exactly the same size. And if you played the beta, then you know how this game plays. It's not any different. Um, it's just a little bit more polished probably than uh, the open beta was. And the open beta was a little bit more polished mostly than the closed beta. So if you've played the game, if you played either of those betas, then you know how this game plays. There's no surprises out there that I've seen unless they're hidden at endgame. You should understand how this game works. People have been asking me to give a score to this game, and I don't usually give off-the-cuff scores because we usually break it down by category, but just roughly shooting from the hip, I would give this game somewhere a 6 out of 10. But what's really bizarre about it is the fact that the things that are really good about New World are like an 8 or 9 out of 10, and the things that are really bad about New World are like a 2 or 3 out of a 10. So you get this really polarizing dichotomy where the activities that you really enjoy, you really enjoy, and the activities that you don't like, you really dislike. So I find myself sort of playing New World in a way where I lean into the activities that I like and I just completely avoid the activities that I don't. To give you some idea what I mean, I really enjoy the crafting. I really enjoy the PvP of the game. These are the things I really like doing. But the dungeons are meh. Uh, questing, meh. So I spend as little time doing those things as I can, and I lean into the things that are good about the game. Also, the social interaction I really love. I love interacting with my company. I love interacting with other players on the landscape, having chats, um, you know, getting together and doing silly things like crawling on the ground. All of these things are fun, and I feel like if you are an open-minded person, you can probably find things in the game that you really enjoy, even if it's not a perfect game and you don't like certain aspects, because there's a lot of things you can do and you can even cut out things like dungeons completely and still have a lot of things to do. I think the thing that I find particularly amazing about all this is that I'm still enjoying the game knowing that there are certain aspects that I don't like, and that if they just fix those aspects a little bit, my score would come up. I mean, I'm doing the things that I like, and I'm still really enjoying the game because I'm avoiding a lot of the other stuff. But if they made it even, you know, a point or two better, maybe it's decent enough for me to mix in every now and then, even if it's not my favorite thing. Maybe it's fun enough to do every now and then, or a little bit more than I'm doing now, and that drastically improves the quality of the game. And I think that's 
the big you know thing with this game new world has a long way it can go and with just a little bit of love and care it could be so much better than it is it doesn't need a lot to get there and i think that you know out of all the games i've seen recently in terms of mmos launching it probably has the most potential to get where those other mmos that everyone compares this game to how does it compare to elder scrolls how does it compare to wow how does it compare to black desert how does it compare to final fantasy 14. It's definitely not as good as those games, but it could be one day, and it wouldn't take, I think, as much work as those games took to get there. Another question that people ask me a lot is, is this game worth $40? I think it's easily worth $40. Even if you cut out half the game, you're still getting at least $40 worth, in my opinion. Um, I played over 180 hours in the closed beta, and I, I pushed so hard to get to cap in that time. It seems like they've actually made it even slower to progress uh, at launch weapons take it seems like even longer the board's quests are nerfed even into the ground they're not even worth doing so it's going to take you probably a couple hundred hours to reach cap unless you're you know one of those insane people who finds the exact best way to gain xp just does that um, it's going to take you a really long time and i think you're easily easily going to get 40 dollars out of that another thing that i really really want to mention here is the new world store now that the game's live the store is live we get to see everything that's in the store uh, people were really, really concerned it was going to be pay to win, that they were going to put convenience items in there that you know, had to get or was really grindy or whatever. Uh, that's just not the case. Uh, the store literally had cosmetic items. That's all it had. It had some housing items and skins. That's basically what's in the store. There's literally no equipment, no boosts, no convenience, no skip the line, nothing like that in the store currently. So there's no concern there for the moment. People might worry that that's going to happen in the future, and obviously that's not something I can control or predict. But as of right now, there's nothing like that in the game. So essentially what I'm saying is, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth doing. Uh, there's clearly a lot of hype around this game. Those are always the most fun time to play MMOs. It's not perfect. The game has bugs. It's not a perfectly polished product like some people would probably want at launch, myself included. I do think they probably needed to take more time on this, but I understand how development works. They are not the only developer that pushes deadlines and, you know, puts things out when they shouldn't. And considering, you know, the state that the game is in currently, it's so much better than I've seen other games. I mean, Cyberpunk was a disaster compared to how polished this game is. So they're miles ahead of CD Projekt Red in that regard. So I think it's definitely worth pulling the trigger on, in my opinion. I was on the fence, honestly, after the last beta, but I've been enjoying it. And I do know that Amazon is working fast, they're working hard, and I would expect most of these minor bugs to be gone in a month or two. I would expect, if you want to wait that long, by all means. But I would expect most of them to be gone in that time. And since we saw, you know, that people data mined other weapons in the game and other areas of the game, we do know that they have content lined up just because of those videos or that people were publishing. Um, because that was not released at launch, so that can only mean that it's already in the game files and that's for future launch. So they have a content plan, clearly. So if you're worried about if more content is coming or not, I think the answer to that is easily yes, more content is coming. And it's just going to be a matter of what they're releasing and when. We're going to be live on Twitch with New World over the next couple weeks. We'll have drops during that period of time for the Vine Spun Weapon Skins if you guys want to come by and get those or ask questions about the game. If you're still not convinced, if you, you know, want to ask some questions, this game isn't a game that everyone is going to love. I totally understand that. But I think there is something there if you can, you know, look past a couple issues and really see the game for what it is. And I think more people than less people will enjoy it. For those of you who have gotten to play New World at launch, what did you guys think so far? I understand the servers are a problem, but for those of you who got in and actually played, did you think it was better than the beta? Do you think it's about the same? Did I get it right or is it, am I completely off? Let us know in the comments below.